Right, falling under pressure uh, after a second day of questioning by lawmakers on Capitol Hill, Phil LeBeau joins us now uh, with more. Did uh, the House never disappoints, do they? So, no. <laughs> Not yesterday. I mean, it was bad with the Senate on Tuesday for Dennis Mullenberg. Yesterday, probably even rougher because they came out point blank and said to him, you should not be running this company. Is anybody at Boeing taking a cut or working for free to try to rectify this problem like the Japanese would do? Congressman, my uh, board will conduct a comprehensive review. That's so you're saying you're not giving up any compensation at all. You're continuing to work and make $30 million a year after this horrific two accidents that caused all these people's relatives to go, to disappear, to die. You're not taking a cut in pay at all? Again, our board will make those determinations. You're not accountable then. You're saying the board's accountable. My intent is to see this through. I think that's part of my Mr. Mullenberg, okay. if you had an ounce of integrity, you would know that the right thing to do is to step okay. down. You're the captain of this ship. A culture of negligence, incompetence, or corruption starts at the top, and it starts with you. You padded your personal finances by putting profits over safety, and now 346 people, including eight Americans, are dead. On your watch, today, you said you made mistakes, and you're accountable. Now that those two days of testimony are through, the focus for a lot of people will return to the situation with the MAX and getting it fixed and getting it back in the air. Guys, I know we've talked for some time that the fourth quarter is critical because this is when they say they have to return to service. November is really the most critical part of that. They're hoping that by later this month, it's not written in the schedule for sure, but by later this month, they would like to do a certification flight and then turn over the materials to the FAA. If they can't get it done this month, guys, it's unlikely that they're going to get the FAA to sign off on this plane by the end of the year. Hey, Phil, just watching that, how difficult would it be for the FAA to actually sign off on something like that right now? I realize right. watching... You're talking about the pressure the, that they're facing. Yeah, just the, the, how, how much the last two days really ramped up and put the FAA under pressure, put Boeing yep. under pressure, and how likely is the FAA going to say three weeks later, say, okay, all's well, go ahead, this looks good to us at this point. I mean, it seems to me like this is a right. huge part of the calculus. It's a huge part, Becky, because the pressure on the FAA, while most of the headlines and the, and the bites that you saw us playing uh, from this testimony were focused on Dennis Mullenberg and on what happened at Boeing over the last uh, five to seven years as the, as the MAX was being developed, a lot of the questions centered around the relationship between Boeing and the FAA, and a lot of the senators and representatives came out and said, this relationship makes no sense. What's going on with the FAA? As much as they were saying with what's happened at Boeing. So there's increasing pressure on the FAA to show that they're just not rubber stamping this. And we know that there is constant dialogue and that the FAA regulators have been much more diligent in terms of making sure that the MAX is fixed. Having said yes. that, you know that, that they are facing the pressure to really show Everyone on Capitol Hill, no, we are keeping Boeing at arm's length and making sure that everything is being done that needs to be done. Just a theoretical, if, if Dennis Mullenberg is there and continues in that role, does it make it more right. difficult or less difficult? Because if you bring in someone new, wouldn't they also have to have time for the regulator and for potentially some key members of Congress to get to know them? Well, it depends on who is. you bring in. Yeah. I, I think it depends on who you bring in, Becky. And different people have a different amount of credibility uh, with the FAA, with the airline customers, and not only that, regulators overseas. I, I think Congress is taking the approach here of they want to keep an eye on the FAA. They want to make sure that uh, they do a better job and that the rules are changed in terms of uh, how the uh, FAA and airplane manufacturers work when it right. comes to certification. But I'm not sure that if there was a new CEO who was brought in, the calculus is less about Capitol Hill and more about uh, the FAA. FAA. I think that's, Phil, what, that's the primary focus. Phil, what kind of support do you think there is inside Boeing, both from a board perspective, but also from an even employee perspective right now for Dennis Mullenberg? Uh, it's eroding. There, I mean, and I know that sounds like uh, the obvious statement of the day, but clearly it's eroding. Look, he is, he is somebody who uh, has said time and again, he is not stepping down. He is not leaving. But it's clear that um, under his leadership, what started out as a, you know, an, a situation with the Max that they thought they could resolve, it, it's drop after drop after drop of headlines and revelations. They, um, I think this has gotten away from them. 
frankly speaking. And his performance the last couple of days was average at best. Uh, and I think that it has that likely has a lot of people within the company and likely on the board saying, okay, if he can't do it, who's the person who can do it? And if and if we do believe that Dennis Mullenberg is not the person, when do we make that switch? Do we do it soon? Do we wait until the max gets up? Because if you do it soon, that adds another element of uncertainty into this entire process. Yeah, and it's I, I don't critical. know what's the more next complicated. Couple of are critical. Right, to keep somebody that they clearly uh, have all kinds of issues with or to try and bring in someone new. Either right. way, it seems like a, 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 a path that is fraught with potential uh, risks along the way. Right. I think their main focus, guys, right now, get the plane certified. Get the plane certified, then you can go back and say, okay, if we don't think that Dennis Mullenberg is the person to run this company, let's make the change then. Um, now, the, theoretically, they, they could do it now. You, I mean, you saw that. I mean, he was hit hard, very hard yesterday. And you know the board was watching, and they saw everything that went down on Capitol Hill the last couple of days.